Hello guys, today we are in the Cancel of Elrond in the Campaign of the Age of the Ring mod for Battle for Middle-earth 2, The Rise of the Witch King. We have Frodo Baggins here and we need to talk to a couple of people to listen to their stories. We gotta talk to Boromir first, I'm assuming. Speak to Boromir, alright. Boromir is right here, the captain of Gondor himself. The Ecto, who is always dying in every single series he's playing. <laughs> A.K.A. Lord of the Rings, A.K.A. The Game of Thrones. Alright, Boromir. Tell me your stories. It's been a hard journey coming here. The last time I let my guards down in this way was when my brother and I finally... Oh, okay, couldn't even read. Really, really fast. My bad. Let them fly! It's no use! Fall back! Go! Run! Take aim! The East Bank is taken and our forces are scattered. We must regroup and reinforce this shore before the whole city is overrun. Go forth, brother. I shall rely reinforcements in return. Faramir is, of course, trying to show his quality once again. So we have soldiers, archers, reclaim all the buildings, a farm has been discovered. Oh my goodness, a lot of stuff happening. Let's e click here. We have Boromir, and he has also the knife throw here. Unlike in normal BFME games, that's nice. It's gonna give him some more damage. Where is Boromir when we need him? He's here. Aggressive stance for the archers. Please move. Let's uh, keep this farm protected as long as we can. Okay, nice. Western bank will be overrun in six minutes and stuff like this. Do we need to go up or something? Marshal your force. Let's help them too. The yeah, archer range has been discovered. Um, we need to, I think, we need to split our units, guys. That's what we have to do. You go here. You support this army, here, please, soldiers. Try to keep this farm protected, maybe. For Gondor. Charge in to them. A building foundation has been. Discover that maybe get this money under our control. We cannot control these units, by the way, unfortunately. Boromir is here. We are able to make, make some rangers. Let's do this real quick and let's keep moving on. I don't know what we need to do. We have only five minutes left to do something, but don't ask me what we are supposed to do here. Um, yeah, we need to be ready, I guess. You gotta get some units on the field. Let's make a farm here for getting, you know, to get some more money, of course. That's the plan. March. There is a blacksmith as far as I can see. Let's protect this one as well. Okay, now we are able to control them. That's great. We will keep the forest of Gondo safe. Oh, oh, there is a troll. Let's kill this troll, maybe. We gotta keep these farms protected. We got, where is the archer range? It's here. Nice. So let's get an all aggressive stance. And you move with Boromir. Come here. Kill this guy, please. Get the money and then we also need another farm right here, definitely, as soon as we possibly can afford it. There we go. Farms are gonna give us more command points and also more res- Are you kidding me? <laughs> this guy, this troll was raging and he lasted at my building at the 0% HP. This is such a meme, dude. Come on, don't do that to me. Aggressive stance for those rangers to make them stronger. And we have to move on, I guess. Let us prepare for this war. Let us prepare for this war. We have also Rallying Horn and Western Bank will be overrun in 4 minutes and 15. It sounds like they're gonna, you know, kinda steal our money from the Western Union yeah, Bank. Pretty skull. A market has been discovered, that's great. Let's actually purchase upgrades, just why not? Use Charge Attack. We have no rebuild. That's gonna make them stronger. Let's use... What is, what is happening here? We are fine, I guess. I'm gonna actually give a number one to the archer range, this way we can always get back to it. So when I double click on one, and you can not only give numbers to your units, but also to your building. So when I double click on one now, I will be able to jump back to our building, which is really useful. In BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, really, really useful. Forward! Okay, we are getting some more units on the field, that's great. That is Boromir. Can we also put archers inside his towers or something? Yeah, we can. That's nice. It's gonna make them kind of more 
reliable, I guess. They're gonna be protected. Get into this one, please. And you enter this one. If you can, of course. Bottom, yes, spear throw, I mean, knife throw, but... So move around, rangers, please. Move around. And enter this tower. This way we have a bit more protection. We should be generally good to go. And in the meantime, let's get some more rangers. We can also buy fire to upgrade at some point. Maybe we will need that. It's gonna increase the DPS of our rangers and normal archers big time. And yeah, we have almost the money now. Let's get back to the archer range. Again, double click on the one. The enemy could be near. And let's bring the re uh, reinforcements here. Uh, are there more towers we can potentially put arches inside? That's the big question. If yes, I want to do that. I want to do that. So what's the building we have to save? Let us scout for let's also get the banners. Uh, do we need to keep all the units protected? All the arches protected? I'm not sure. I mean, our arches inside the towers are doing a nice job. So I I'm assuming we don't need to be grouped all together, you know? And the zoom in, I forgot to zoom out file, uh, which allows you to remove the entire zoom limit from the game. So we don't have this available right now. That is even more happening. Let's actually move to this side. There is another barracks as far as I can see. What is this? It's a barracks, yeah. Barracks. We will get the chance to control this. Let's get some more units on the field, shall we? But the problem is we have not this many command points available. Draw your swords. Let's give them right click on this one. Can we charge into them? No. I mean, our rangers inside are still doing a nice job, I guess. Kinda. Uh, we will definitely need some more units on the field as soon as we can possibly afford. Get some more rangers maybe, that's the way to go. Let's place them right here. And now we've also fighter upgrade purchased on our rangers. I mean, we can purchase that if we want to. And that's gonna make our units generally way, way stronger. We have also 10 power points collected, which can be invested into the take refuge. Creates lush terrain. It's a buff. Um, similar to the rallying horn, but buffs are not able to stack. So we are not able to use rallying horn and this at the same time. That's not possible. Then we have the brown wizard, Radagask. Summons a cache of resources. We have also quick repairs and friendly outpost. Actually, uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, of course, select uh, Radagast the brown. Oh, it's not available here, unfortunately. Okay, let's protect this farm. If we can. There is also a trebuchet, as far as I can see. And you guys move to this side, please. A farm has been discovered. That's nice. We are getting some more money, but our command points are not increasing what, you know, whatsoever. Where is the archer range? It's here. Let's make some more units in the meantime. They are luckily coming out quite fast. Oh, right, nice. Reclaim all buildings. We did it. We did it. We did it. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Maybe it was a mistake to give them banners. That's gonna be a waste of money. Where is Boromir when we need some? Let's make a farm here, maybe. Okay. Oh, there are some towers. We can also put some units inside of this ones. That's nice. This one is looking in a, like in a good spot, spot right now. If, you know, our units inside the towers are doing a nice job. Really nice job. And where is Boromir again? Okay, so what you're gonna do? Kill this archer first. Reclaim the spot. Get some money from this one. Make another farm. Just why not? And now we gotta move to the spot where the towers are at. And now we're gonna place also some units inside these towers. And these units have even this pierce shots we have purchased before from the archer range. So let's put them inside. Before we put them inside, we can also give them Rallying Horn, just why not? That's gonna make them deal more damage, which is always nice. More damage is always great. Okay. Could we get inside? Please move, 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 move. Oh, there, but the thing is, uh, there is a body block thing in BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King. Unlike in BFME 1, BFME 1 units are never getting body blocked, pretty much. No, 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 no. Move. Let's use heal, maybe. Let's use heal. Recover a bit, now we can place them finally inside of this tower and they are gonna hit like an absolute truck. In the meantime, our archer range, you know, we have so much money actually, we can make more and more units. Defend the breaches from the enemy attacks. I got you. Um, this bridge has no towers, but I mean, that's that bridge is also damaged, so it's fine, I guess. 
Boromir can also lead to the secondary bridge. Get them all weapons. That this way they're gonna increase their DPS. Get them also weapons and also Archer um, say it's banners. Place them to protect this bridge, maybe. Get them also again this and this. Rangers are also able to fight with the swords here, <clears throat> which is quite nice. Um, in BFME 1, that's not possible. Okay. Uh, Italian reinforcements will arrive in two minutes, so I think we are in a good spot. I believe if nothing crazy comes now from the breaches, uh, we will be able to protect ourselves. Just make more units, but we can't. We are command points capped right now. If also some units here, let's give them banners, just why not? Okay, you guys can also move maybe to this bridge. It's the front line. We have to... Yeah, there we go. That's the blacksmith I was looking for. I mean, we have so much money. Cash loading is always bad in RTS games, so we can just invest them into something, I guess. Uh, we have also purchased fire and everything from the archer range, so we are in a good spot. Trust me on that one. And I believe we need to only survive for one and a half minutes. This one was kind of easier than I was expecting it to be. Um, yeah, looks good. Looks good, looks great. Fire! Let's get them also banner. Let's get them all ground stands. This way they're gonna respawn over time automatically, which is always nice. And there are also some units running from, you know, allied units running around, but we cannot control them. These units are actually quite expensive command point wise. Where is the barracks of ours? Uh, that's another secondary archer range and also we are not able to recruit any more units because we are command points capped pretty much that's what's happening right now okay i mean yeah yeah we are in a good spot we are in a good spot i mean they, they can't even reach the side because look what's happening here you know our units are wait a second i have an idea let's actually get them out from the towers let's give them this uh, no no oh Okay. Give me a second, I'm gonna fix this. Let's get them out, give them upgrades and put them back inside. This way they're gonna deal off just, you know, more damage. More damage is always nice. So 40 seconds and Faramir will finally get his chance <laughs> to show his quality. After Boromir has done everything. Boromir is also a Horn of Gondor with level 3 and 4 Gondor with level 6. Nervia allies gain more damage and armor. It's a leadership, of course. This one is um, Knife Throw, it's like a damage. I want to see this animation. If the units are not going to die, he's going to throw it. Yeah, he's going to throw it. Mori is advanced. Okay, seven seconds. Let's count. Five, four, three, two, one. It's the final countdown. Farami has arrived with reinforcements from Italian. That's the Farami I'm looking forward. Oh, he has also this guy here, Madril. Do they have um, all upgrades? Now, no, they don't have it. The river and drive this filth from our land. All right, chill, bro. <laughs> clear all. What? What we need to do? Uh, clear the bridges of the enemy forces. I got you. You gotta keep those arches inside the towers just in case something crazy happens. And we are generally in a really, really good spot. Let's give them heavy armor and forge blades. Just why not? We can afford it. Heavy armor to make them tankier. Oh! But that's what I'm talking about. I told you. Unless some shenanigans happening, but luckily our archers are dealing a lot of damage. Do they have a catapult or something? I'm not sure. Is this it? I guess so, yeah. This city! was once the jewel of our kingdom, a place of light and beauty and music, and so it shall be once more! Yeah! The city of Oskilia has been reclaimed! For Gondor! For Gondor! For Gondor! For Gondor! Yes! I'm a huge fan of you, Boromir. And every time he is screaming for Gondor, I get goosebumps. Just like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next one is gonna be tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. 
and also subscribe for more content like this. You can also check me out on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. Link is in the description down below. That's the place where we are live streaming BFME content, tournaments, events, and just mainly getting to know each other a little bit better. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves, and as always, stay Beyond Standards. Peace, guys.